Come on in and welcome to my channel. If you're yet to see our last video, which was beans and yam porridge, I'll be leaving a link for you in the description section. On to today's video, we're going to be learning how to make banana oatmeal muffins. So let's get started. Kindly check the description section for the full list of ingredients used. We're going to start with the wet ingredient first. Into your buttermilk, you're going to need to stir in your dry raisin, egg, and then spoon in your vanilla extract, like so. And stay together as shown. You add in the dry raisin and all that will help to plump the fruit. The next step will be to peel your banana and roughly mash it as shown. It doesn't need to be smooth. Once that is achieved, the next step is to work on the dry ingredient. Add in some salt to bring out the flavor of the recipe and stir as shown. You see me going back in to stir in my maple syrup because I totally forgot about that. So you need to do that into the wet ingredient as well and mix it as shown. At this stage, the wet and dry ingredient is ready to come together. So next, pour in your banana and then your mix, your milk mixture into the oatmeal. Then begin to mix everything till they are well incorporated. You need to wet the dry ingredient thoroughly. So this is what you have at the end of your mixing. I like to fold in some chopped almond nuts, but you can use any nut of your choice. But this is very delicious as well. Our next step will be to scoop this batter into a lightly oiled pan so as to avoid any stickiness and you'll be able to remove it easily by the time it's baked. Once you finish scooping it, your batter into the pan, you add your topping of choice. I use three different toppings. I have that almond nut that is chopped and I also had the dry raisin and also the chocolate chips which you'll see me do in a short while. My husband likes the almond nuts so I do that for him and I love my raisin and my little toddler loves the chocolate chips. But again, use whatever topping works for you. This recipe is very, very versatile and very forgiving. These babies look yummy already, so we are going to pop them up into the oven and bake for 25 to 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit. 25 minutes later, our babies are ready. Yummy it looks. Wait for it to cool for some minutes before you pop this out because you need them to come together at this stage. If you pop them out right from the oven, you might not be able to pop it out easily like I did. So just wait a little bit for some minutes, five minutes is okay. And then you have yourself this nice chewy energy bar, like I call it in, the, in my kitchen. I hope you've had fun watching this and I hope you're gonna try it out. If you do try it out, leave me a comment in the description in the comment section below. And until next time, when I see you again, let's learn and cook together. Bye bye.